Hey everyone, this is Terry with Create Scrapbooks and welcome to a Project Life video. This is all about organization for Project Life and what I'm actually using and what's working for me. So I have page protector planners here and I also have a Becky Higgins 6x8 planner. Let me go through each individual thing to show you how I use these in conjunction with uh, planning out my Project Life spreads. So here's my small little 6x8 binder and this is something that Becky Higgins just recently came out with for 2014. It has planner pages you can purchase and a binder. Um, I made a video that was a haul video recently about this entire thing, so I won't go through it again, but you can actually watch that video here. I use this very simply. I have not even filled out some of the resolution goals and the birthdays, um, but I actually started on the 1st of January, which was a Wednesday. And I jotted down things from iPhoto. I'm really late on starting my project life, but I have everything planned out. So if you're like me and sometimes you can't get to your weekly spread or your monthly spread um, right when that month ends or that week ends, then having this really has helped me um, and maybe will help you just plan out some things, get them jotted down, get your photos ready. So when you do have time, you have all of this contained in here and ready to go. The weekly schedule in here is very simple. It goes Monday through Sunday. You have to write in your dates, um, which works fine for me. Wednesday was the 1st of January, so I have Wednesday to Wednesday um, as my Project Life weekly um, setup. So with all of that being said, all I did was put in a page protector from Snap. You can find these at Michael's. Um, they also have Becky Higgins ones. Those were on sale, so I did purchase those instead. And I have printed and edited everything from my iPhoto. I went back and iPhoto actually puts the date of your specific um, photo in the information. So it's very simple to go back through and figure out which date corresponds with which photo. I put these in Photoshop. I just simply edited them, um, made four by sixes and three by fours and did some text overlays and also put some dates on here as well. So that's what works for me. So everything is ready to go when I'm ready to scrapbook. The next thing that I wanted to show really quickly are some page protector organization sheets, which I developed last year because I was really frustrated with not being able to find the particular page protector um, and figuring out what sizes I wanted to use and print my photos for that size. So what I did was just put together page protector sizings and the corresponding letter or number um, with the manufacturer even because there's different manufacturers for them. So if you have page protectors and you're like me and you have a ton of them, definitely go to Create Scrapbooks, print this out, and I'll show you how to use it right now. So here's the Create Scrapbooks blog and I wanted to show you where you can find more information on the Get It Organized printables I just shared with you today and where you can download them. So this is the homepage and I just put up the latest um, videos that I've been working on and any other hauls or information about the scrapbooking industry um, that I want to share. So feel free to browse around here as well. But to get the free files, you just click on Create Scrapbooks Get It Organized Printables at the top. It'll bring you to my shopping cart. There are three different products in there currently, two are free. So there's a free printable that's a six by eight free pocket and page protector file, and that's a PDF. And then there's the Create Scrapbooks 12 by 12 and Variety Pocket and Page Protector PDF file. And there's also a customizable PSD, Get It Organized, Pocket and Page Protector digital files. And these are PSD uh, Photoshop files where you can go and actually customize everything about them. So they're a layered template and you can go in and actually change around things, customize it to your needs, and then also even create different page protector styles um, by just, you know, changing the layers and switching those around and you can customize it however you'd like. So the free files are all you need to get started if you just want to get the basics done and see if this system is going to work for you. Um, you can add it to your cart and you can also get more information. So if you click on the image, this page is a very detailed page on what you're getting with your download. It will show you the three free printable download files which are three eight and a half by 11 sheets for the 12 by 12 version. Um, of the pocket and page protectors. And basically I just walk you through what's in those files. And also if you scroll just a little bit further, there is a link to my blog post. 
So on my blog post, you're going to find a lot of detailed information, and I just wanted to walk through from start to finish. So take what you can from this information and customize your own system and make it work for you. So if you scroll down on this page, you're going to find where I uh, give you information how to start. So to start, you just need some room on the floor or on your table, wherever you decide that you want to work, your stash of pocket and page protectors, a pen, and I like the American Crafts Slick Writers. Those are my favorite. Some post-it note tabs like I've shown in this video or just paper and scissors. Really, that's all you need. So later after reviewing your stash, you might want to get a bin or recycle a bin that you have at home, or if you want a binder system and you only have maybe 50 page protectors, you can use that as well. So the first step is really just to find all of your page protectors that you own and gather them into one place. You want to be able to see what you have in one spot so you can decide what type of bin or binder system that you want to either purchase or reuse and then really just to see what you have. Sometimes you don't realize how many things you have. Um, and this is the whole point of getting organized is to have everything accessible in one spot. So you wanna clear off enough space to make several piles. Um, again, use the floor table, etc. It's not gonna be a long project, but the key is to get started. And this is really the key, get started. And then if you scroll below here, you're going to see um, step number two, it says to print, cut apart and use um, the files that you're going to download today to get you started with your piles. And really, if you print the organizational files I created and just use the regular printer paper, cut apart each design, you're not gonna keep them, you're just gonna use less ink and print as a draft on this version. You take the stash of all your three ringed page protectors out of their packages, you start organizing them by type, one type per pile, and mark each pile with a coordinating image you cut from the printables for visual reference. So for me, this is really key, so I didn't have to keep thinking, was that page protector A, was that D? Um, everything was clearly marked as I organized and made the piles. So if you have any envelope style page protectors or pocket pages, um, you do wanna decide whether or not you wanna keep those in the packages um, or distribute them out into piles. It really is key just to ask yourself, how are you gonna use these later on? Um, will you remember how you have the pocket pages uh, stored and look for those separately or do you want everything together with the page protectors? So um, I just decided to keep them with the protectors as I will remember to use them, um, which is really half the battle for me. So now assess the damage and plan accordingly. What do you have? Do you have a lot of style A? Do you have, um, you know, A and D? You just wanna jot the numbers on a post-it note, maybe on your phone's list app or whatever you want to keep inventory, um, just to make sure you know what you have later on so you're not repurchasing the same thing. Step number three is really simple. You just gather your bins or baskets or binders um, that you want to use to store your protectors. And then you're gonna use a punch, pieces of cardstock or post-it tabs and a permanent marker or pen to start labeling your piles. And then you just add the dividers or chipboard if needed to add structure between the styles. So for example, if you purchase the Becky Higgins or any other manufacturers photo pocket pages, they generally come with this cardboard insert to keep it stable. And I just reuse that. Sometimes I even reuse the plastic packaging as you can see to keep it organized. So step number four is putting it all together. This is where everything comes together. It's fun to look at. Um, it gets you excited to scrapbook again and you know what you have. So that's the whole point of this organization is to make sure you know what you have. You don't repurchase things you don't need. And it's really just nice to look at and easy to use. So you put it all together. You just coordinate your labels that you've made and the bin contents. You can print the page protector files again out if you need to and paste those on top of cardboard or um, by themselves and just slip them inside of your binder or in the front of um, the container. So I get started by printing two of each page protector file that I have. And this allows me to put one inside of a page protector, ironically, right? Um, and I keep these by my desk. So my desk and my page protectors are two different places and I don't wanna get up and have to go look for them. Um, if I'm planning out photos, I can just grab these. They're right next to my desk and I can plan just from these. 
Then behind your little index sheet, um, you're going to just put in all of the styles that are coordinating to that index sheet in the front, and then you're set to go. And once you're done with step number four, you're really done. You can actually go scrapbook. You can find the page protectors that you need for your project life system. And it's so much fun just to be able to go over there and see your pretty organization system. It really inspires me to get things done, to use up the page protectors that I have, and you know, just kind of explore different styles that maybe I wouldn't consider um, without this visual. There's also helpful tips at the bottom here. So here's the page protectors in action in my scrapbook studio space. And as you can see, everything is so nicely contained in these two containers um, from the container store. And I pick these up on sale, usually when they have the work related sale, they're about three to $5. Um, I use them throughout my house. I really love them. And you can store even 12 by 12 sticker sheets, kits or card stocks in them as well. So they're really um, versatile and I really love them. The page protectors um, in here, I just use my printables in the front. So I have two of the sheets and I cut one in half um, and adhered it to a cardboard backing sheet from a page protector from Becky Higgins. So I'm reusing that. And as you can see here, um, there's a line where I just adhered uh, the second sheet right on top of the first. And so that fit my first bin in here. So in the front, this serves as an index sheet for what the contents of the bin are. So for example, I have styles A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then I numbered the We Are Memory Keepers styles that are different. And if they overlap, so say the C, uh, Becky Higgins is also a style in We Are Memory Keepers, which is kind of a problem, but not because I just put C and three. So if I want that style of page protector, I just go right back here to the Design C or We Are Memory Keepers 3 and that is on a cardboard sheet um, divider and behind it are both of the styles um, that are the same from We Are Memory Keepers and Becky Higgins and then if I need anything else in this bin it's all referenced right in the front and then my second bin I can just pull this to the front. So the second bin is a little bit different because I didn't adhere this um, index sheet to anything. I just slipped it right in the front. So you can do that as well. And this holds all of my pocket style, like the six by six and the 12 by 12, and then the different styles like H and I and J that aren't a full 12 by 12. And like the other um, bin that I first showed you, I just stick everything in the back that corresponds with all of that. So I've got um, a lot of things still in their packaging in this one because of the weird sizing. So the six by sixes are still in their packaging with the cardboard insert, the file tab, and then the pockets um, are all housed together. And I just stick that right inside in the front. And again, there's so many different uh, styles in here, but they all look really good all together and I can find what I need. So that's it for this video on organization for your page protectors and planning out using a planner for project life. So again, I hope you're doing well. I hope this helped you and I'll see you soon with another video.